AODC, welcome to a new reaction video, guys, and today we are going to check out the music video teaser for Dreamcatcher's upcoming comeback with their title track, Mason. So, guys, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Let's check it out in 3, 2, 1. Let's go! All right. <laughs> Dude, the sound. Oh! Ooh. I have to instantly think of Taeyeon's I envy you. With the set. Okay. Okay, so... <laughs> I guess this is Yuyon. <laughs> Crashing down. Dude, Kaeyeon smile. Okay, so we have multiple superhero landings. <laughs> yeah. The song. This has a unique sound. This really has a unique sound. It sounds different from what Dreamcatcher has done until now. Even though we know from the highlight medley that the feeling is still there. We still got it. Okay, so we also have portals? Guy on Smile is usually killing me. Was there someone floating behind Dummy? This is just straight. This is really this is really the goddess concept at the end here. Yes, something is floating in the bit. Okay, sh for sure you do this. Do they have... Okay, maybe there are different superpowers involved. Because when I when I look at um, the pose of uh, Shua and the, like, the rest of the stuff floating... Or is it falling? It's falling, but really slowly. Maybe she's like the Flash. Could be. Could be. And this is like, okay, like the goddesses came down on Earth to check out how majorly the humans have fucked up. Maybe clean up a bit also. This is like the natural state here. This looks about utopian up there, honestly. <laughs> what is... What <laughs> the sound, dude! Okay, let's, let's just do it here. Let's just loop it. Four days. Four days, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I can do this. This scene where they're all like together at one place. <laughs> in the in the post-apocalyptic world. Like, there, there is stuff that I kind of... That seems familiar from past um, Dreamcatcher MVs, but still... Um, it has an own style. Yeah, this part. Interesting. Are they all wearing black except you? Huh. 
mother of goddesses. 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 It's correct. <laughs> yeah, you're red. Rest black. Yeah. By the way, dummy's outfit. Wow. Styling amazing. Both concerts that I see here. Song sounds great. Really great. Will this be like the beginning? It for sure is once again um, going to be a really unique thing to Dreamcatcher. Which is no surprise, they're literally the only, only ones who can do this. Like every time when another group attempts to get near Dreamcatcher's territory, in my opinion it gets pretty obvious why only Dreamcatcher is doing it. <laughs> Here, th there's for like one frame. Wait. First, we have this explosion in the sky. And here. It's this building. Is it like a portal? It's a portal. A portal from a different world opened. That's maybe similar to this one. That reminds me a bit of Because. With the mirror. I think you know which scene I mean. Shoe and the mirror. Ah, me. Wait. This is too badass. We need to embrace this moment. I mean, look at this! This is a freaking wallpaper! Cool. <laughs> she's just chilling. <laughs> she's, she's just bored at this point. <laughs> okay, here we have Handong with another portal. But here. This looks really like universe-ish. Universe -ish. Could be stars in the background. <laughs> She's Jill's just like badassly posing on this broken building. And she's just adorable. <laughs> like like this is so this is so out of place that suddenly we have Guy on here. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This is so cool. This is so cool. And this overall theme here. Um, of this, 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 this um, apocalyptic city reminds me of was it rose blue? I think so. I think so. I I think there was a similar scene. <laughs> she's she's preparing for battle. <laughs> This, this fake ass, yeah, I'm searching something. I'm looking for something. <laughs> I, don't, I don't quite get why Handong is like doing this little spin here, but it is glorious. I give her that. And seriously, Dummy's outfit. Wow. Brother styling. Oh, it's the, the dress of uh, Handong. Huge fan, huge fan. Here. Is this a person? This is a person. Feet, arms. No signal. Okay, she fucked someone up. But this looks a bit, for me, like um, this is la a pre apocalypse, like before she entered this um, apocalyptic city world. You know? It looks like all of them are coming from different places. And this one here... A bit odd-eye-ish. 
bit odd eyeish. I'd say from this part here. Poor guy. <laughs> Poor he got he got completely wasted by dummy here. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Wait. Ooh. Whee. <laughs> so she's crashing down from the ceiling here. Maybe she spawned up there and something and landed on a table with giraffe giraffe people. Makes sense. I mean, who else would be sitting there? This is a really interesting area. This is a table, right? Yeah, it's a table. A bit chief it's chief friend's apple. <laughs> this comes to my mind here. This was really necessary. This blow at the end. She looked up and gorgeous. <laughs> this could be this could be like a shampoo advertisement. Don't you think so? And here at the end. This must be, this must be how heaven really looks like. Like when you're entering heaven, this is what you see. <laughs> oh, boy. And this is oddly close to Utopia here. Are we getting tears to Utopia? I, di I didn't believe them when they said that Utopia was... Uh, we will, we will still get there. That's a question. Is this? But then it doesn't make sense with that they're coming from like the other worlds. If they're all from this heavenly utopian world. So I still think they're dropping into this apocalyptic world. This I'm not quite sure how to um, how to connect it properly. Maybe this is just their home. And they were all like in different realms, sorting out shit and suddenly they were like, ah, apocalypse. And from all different locations, warping in there. Gio was already there. <laughs> She watched, she watched while all, um, the whole world just went down the drain. Yeah, the, uh, I, have, I have no clue what Gion was doing. Gion was, Gion? This could be this, um, utopian world. That's the outfit match. Go away. We see these, nah, we see some kind of stripe. Let's check it out. Maybe. Let's pay attention to Gion at the end. Yeah, that's the same style. That's the same outfit. That's the same dress. So, Gion, we only see. Okay, not only. In the group shot, we also see her in the dystopian um, world here. Apocalyptic world, I mean. Is the dystopian world automatically apocalyptic? No. No, not necessarily, no. Yeah, same outfit. Yeah, and here, right, here we see her up. By the way, badass. <laughs> this, the contrast in style. But we don't get a close-up um, or a solo shot of her in that outfit. Handong spin, dude. Super cool. Super, super, super cool music video teaser. Damn, damn, damn. That song sounds better. By the way, the... Wait. Gravity doesn't mean much. 
in this world. This is interesting. Like, it's not falling or something like this. It's staying in that place. Why, though? Everything else seems... Physically... At least... Relatively correct. But this one... And doesn't move. Hmm. Okay, Dummy can, like... Use the force. <laughs> so... Do they all have different superpowers? Maybe. Okay, once more. Let's check it out once more here. But maybe they all have different superpowers. Like Shua's Flash. She's super fast. Hanung can use portals? Hey, you is difficult. She's a meteor. <laughs> she can throw meteors, maybe. It's difficult. Difficult to say. I mean, dummy, obviously. The force. <laughs> Okay, guys, that was it. was my little music video reaction for Dream Catchers music video teaser for their upcoming comeback with Mason. Please let me know your opinions in the comments below, and I hope to see you next time. This video is going to be. Thank you for your attention, and bye!